Hey guys, um, I hope everyone is well. In today's lesson, I will show you how to create an animated ball using a circle tool since we are moving on to a new chapter on circles. So by the definition, a circle is considered to be an infinite number of points that are located on the same distance from the center. Okay, or in other words, we can say that they're equidistant from the center. All right, so first, in, first is you're going to open up GeoGebra Classic. You're going to right click on the screen, get rid of the axis and the grid. This will take you literally 10 minutes, no more than that, but it's a very fun activity. I actually enjoy doing it myself too. So second step is we're going to use tool number six and we're going to select a circle with a center through a point. So all we're gonna do is just plot this point first and then expand the circle, make it larger and plot the point B. Now, as you can see, we get the labels for the points and for the circles. I don't wanna see them anymore. So what I'm gonna do, and you can start off by doing it from the very beginning when you open up GeoGebra, you're going to click on these three lines and you're going to select the settings and in settings, we want to make sure we get rid of the labeling and we turn it into no new object. Once you do that, close it out and we're good to go. I will, however, need to know one of the points later on, but um, don't worry about it for now. Okay, so now next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the same tool number six and select the semicircle tool. And I will draw a semicircle through the same center A. So click anywhere, make sure you, when you draw the semicircle, make sure you click into the outline of a circle. I'm gonna do four more of these. It's totally up to you how you space them out. It doesn't really matter. Each and every design will be different. So I'm just gonna space them out slightly. Actually, I'm gonna do six in total. Okay. Now, next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this first point right here and bring back the label for that point. Okay. Now, next thing is I'm going to right click on this point B and unselect show label. I'm going to right click on the circle itself and unselect show label because I don't want to see the point C. And also, I would like to right click on point A and unselect show label. So we're clearing up the diagram. The only point that I need to see is this point C. Okay, now also let's right click on this random point B that was left off and just unselect show object. We don't need it anymore. All right, from here on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the semicircle that contains the point C. So just on that one. And we're going to select the settings. In the settings, you're going to select tab that's called advanced. And we're going to change the color as the animation goes on, each movement will have a different color. So to do so, we're gonna use the coordinates, X and Y. So as the X changes, we're going to use the X coordinate that represents the point C. So whatever the point C is located at, at X, that what the red color will show. So you're going to type in X in parentheses, capital C. So whatever point you, your label has, that's the label that you're gonna represent inside of parentheses. So it all depends on what kind of uh, name you have for your particular point. If you wanna change it to the same way as I have it, great, do so. Then you're going to click into green color, erase to zero, and now we're gonna change the, to the Y coordinate. And in parentheses, you're going to type in the same exact point, C. And then for the blue color, we have a formula here. We're going to multiply five by the coordinate of X. All you're gonna type in is five X, open parentheses, and type in the same exact label for the point. And let's close this out. Next step, what I'd like you to do is you're going to right click on this point C and there's an option here that says animation. You're going to select that. And as soon as you select that, the semicircle will start moving. And as you can see, it blinks up, the, the color changes constantly, which is great. We did a good job. Now, next step, you can let this go. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other points. So I'm gonna right click on each of these points and select the animation. Okay, so 
keep doing so for all of them. Don't change their colors. We only need the color changed for one. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. And one more point left. Let these arcs go. And there it is. Okay, so now as you can see, all of my semicircles are moving, which is great. Next step, I'm going to pause it. So the pause bottom right here usually is on the left bottom corner. So I'm gonna pause that. I'm gonna find my arc that has the color within. And what we're going to do is we're going to also trace it. So right click on the arc and select the option, not the point, notice I clicked on the arc or the semicircle and select the option that says show trace. Once I select it and hit play, Guess what happens? We get this wonderful animation ball. It's gonna go around a circle, it's gonna continue going, and it's gonna create this really cool design, okay? So if you wanna play around with this more, make it more clean, we can get rid of these labels. So we can unselect show objects, which I would recommend you guys do to make the picture more clear. And you can also make those semicircles that were created before with different colors. So it adds to it. So I got rid of all the points and now my circle is totally clear. I click on animation and there they are, okay? And that completes your assignment. So all you would have to do is finish this off. Once you're done, you're going to save it. So you're going to click right here, click save. You're going to log in into your account. Uh, make sure it is, uh, when you save it, make sure you save it as a public file. And then you're going to share that particular file with me using a link. So please submit that link either within the comment in the classroom, uh, do not email it to me, just submit it within your assignment or just paste it into Google Docs and upload it into the classroom and turn in your assignment that way. All right, if you guys have any questions on this particular assignment, feel free to let me know. And I hope you have fun doing it as I did.